And Balaam said unto Balaam, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me seven oxen, and seven rams. And Balaam did as Balaam had spoke. And Balaam and Balaam offered on every altar a bullock and a ram. Balaam said unto Bala, Stand by thy burnt offering, and I will go. Free adventure, the Lord will come to meet me, and whosoever he and whatsoever he showeth me, I will tell thee. And he went over to the high place. And God met Balaam. And he said unto him, I have prepared seven altars. I have offered upon every altar a bullock and a ram. And the Lord put a word in Balaam's mouth and said, Return unto Balaam, and thus thou shalt speak. He returned unto him, and lo, he stood by his burnt offering, he and all the princes of Moab. And he took up, he took up his parable and said, Bela, the king of Moab, has brought me from Aaron out of the mountain of the east, saying, Come curse me, Jacob, and come defile me. Israel, how shall I curse whom the Lord has not cursed? Or how shall I defile whom the Lord has not defiled? Amen. I thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. What, a, what a mighty God we serve. Amen. Amen. When, when you're blessed and know you're blessed. Yes. Amen? See, so many times, what the problem is, we don't know who we are, what we are. Hello, somebody. Because if you know who you was and what you was, amen? Mm -hmm. See, I'm blessed. Amen. The Bible declared that if you confess the Lord Jesus out of your mouth, Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Yes. Thou shalt be saved. Amen. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hey, hey, hello, somebody. Hey, uh -huh. Amen. He, he said, whosoever call, you got to do it call. Mm -hmm. huh? You know, pride and arrogance sometimes will stop us from calling on the name of the Lord. You ever lost something and you realize how long you've been looking for it and can't find it? You finally humble down and call the name of the Lord. Lord, where is that? Say right there. Hey, Lord, I've been looking over the hell, huh? Hell somebody, ain't mine. I, 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 don't get lifted up. And don't fix yourself when you can't call on his name. See, you, you can fix yourself. The Bible gave the Bible said uh, he gave him a retrobate mind. Retrobate, that's all right. Uh, they wasn't going to call on him. You give him a mind not to call on him. Well, if you get retrograde, you don't want nothing to do with the law. Huh? He don't want nothing to do with you. Hello, somebody. You done gave you up. If God gave you up, the devil ain't going to let you call on, on the law. He going to let that be on your mind. He going to take that taste out of your mouth. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. And you ain't going to be able to call on the law. Amen. Amen. You're going to find so many reasons why not to call on the name of the Lord. Amen. Hello, somebody. I'm just saying. Amen. Amen. He said, how shall I curse whom God has not cursed? When you're blessed. See, if you're blessed, God didn't curse you. Okay. What you saying? I said, if God had the opportunity to bless you or curse you. Hell, somebody, huh? He said, I played before you a blessing and a curse. See, God will bless you. The devil will be busy trying to get you to curse you. 
What you say? Oh, y'all don't hear me? He said, I, I am blessed that the devil going to try to get me to curse. Let me show you something. A lot of folks read the Bible, but you have to read with understanding. Amen. He said, get wisdom, but with all you get, get understanding. See, a, 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 a preacher will preach about Job, but you have to get an understanding about Job. Yeah. See, you look at Job as being some fictitious character. Amen. You look at Job as some man that lived long ago. But you don't never associate yourself as being Job. Sometimes you be going through them sicknesses, and the devil said, God said, I'm here. You might have well gone in the hospital. I'm about calling on the law. Get the ambulance on out here. Uh, I'm spitting God's face and going to the hospital. That child is sick. Don't worry about the Lord. You got to go to the hospital. The Bible said, if that be in a sick amongst you, call for the elders of the church. Huh? I remember when I was a kid and the children got sick. See, we, see, see, the devil has laid this thing out so, uh, uh, so the, the last day is he can uh, just consume whomever he wanted. He can, he, he going about her seeking whom he can devour. Amen? Amen. And so therefore, there are so many opportunities now that you can go to the house where you want. You go to Tampa, Georgia, St. Joseph, any other. But I remember being a little boy here in Tampa. If you went in St. Joseph, which was St. Elizabeth down, uh, what that, 7th Avenue up in there? 7th Avenue up in there. Uh, you, huh? What? Clarify. No, man. Clarify Hospital was over a boulevard. Off of the boulevard bridge over there by Blake. St. Joseph used to be St. Elizabeth. Right there on the other side of Nebraska, up there around up around Seventh Avenue or somewhere before you get off in what was what the area I was raised up in. It, it, it was St. Elizabeth. And you could go in there. If you were going in there to wash dishes. If you were going in there to cook. You weren't gonna get sick in there. If you got sick of that, you better get one of the Amalek to come get you. You wasn't been ride in that big shot Amalek now. The black funeral homes had Amalek that would come get you. The hearse, you be riding in the hearse already. You got to worry about dying. Don't you want y'all worry about Because y'all have to worry about dying. Because uh, every black funeral home yeah, look at, look at, we, we were scattered. We, 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 all you had to do is set a man and we were gone. Uh, if you see, if you hear a horn coming and somebody driving 100, 120 miles an hour and spin the corner uh, and the ambulance, back of the ambulance go over here and come back straight up, I'll be there to get you in five seconds now. And I will get you to the hospital. You ain't dying. We might not stick no oxygen to you, huh? Man, we had some drivers. Uh, uh, man, you see one of them hearses spinning around. Hit that corner. Spinning. Like y'all see on TV? That is real. Straighten up. Mmm. Uh, don't let them be that got one of them boys that been hauling that moonshine from up around Georgia and Alabama down here. Driving that joke. Well, we couldn't keep up. We didn't care your body, huh? We didn't have a bunch of black folks die like that. They get them to the hospital, huh? You got to go to Sheck Clara Fly over there, the black hospital? Don't hey, that a minute. Don't die there, you were born to Franklin Funeral. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, in the same car, Katie. Straight to Franklin. If you didn't make it, we used to, ain't no need to go in that far. We stopped right here. Huh? Everybody leave the guy that wanted them to have a leg pain. You know, if he stopped breathing, he was already in the hearse. <laughs> uh, well, uh, hello, somebody, amen. amen. So, 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 we, 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 huh? We done got bigot now. We go to so many hospitals, we got to call the name of the law. Huh? Mm. They throw one out there for you. 
You, who you want me to call? Call Patel. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. Lord have mercy, we don't bike to get a long way, huh? We used to even know how to speak that kind of stuff. Amen. But they, you know we call it the good Lord of Jesus. But nowadays we can call anybody, amen. Uh, we got our different little cards. We got a card to go here and a card to go there. Amen. And, and, and we need a card to go here and a card to go there. Call we old formula. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Huh? They got formula babies here. Okay. Uh, we be outside playing and, 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 and step on a rusty nigga, all the way rusty to the bone. Uh -huh. Pull that joke out and take a stick and beat him to his bleed. Yep. Yep. Right, right on play. <laughs> uh, never was where he had to have no kind of shot. Shot for nothing. Amen. We been trying to cut our, get cut. Somebody shoot up under the house real quick. And grab a big old hunk of spider web. Come and put that spider web on there. Grab them up, best stitches you ever had. Huh? That spider web, a minute right back in a, in a, see, your, 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 see, that old spider web looked like dust. Cause he done, he done sold it out or something. See what I'm saying? So it looked like dust up under the house. It gathers dust. But if you think about it, the body is made out of dust. What you say? Wrap him right on up. Go on about our business. See now, Scott, with a heel. Hello, somebody. He is so perfect. Hello, somebody. What, what doctor you with? We gave up on Jesus. Hello, somebody. Huh? Uh, we want to uh, Jesus the last resort. I remember when the children used to get sick and have some kind of sickness, boy, you ain't never seen it, they have no name for them. They just take that child to the church, from church to church. If, if, if this church couldn't pray over me here, they go and say, somebody this time know the power of prayer. And we're going to go to a church, amen. We're going to carry it to a church, amen, where the preacher there can go ahead and help somebody. Amen. And, and, and go ahead and get healed. Amen. Praise be to God. I, I, I thank the Lord. I give God the praise, the glory, and honor. Y'all there? <laughs> hey, 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 you hear me? You got hollering here again. I'm going to be on that other side of you. Huh? Hello, somebody. Amen. See, 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 we, we, we done got big shot. And the graveyard getting full with us. Hello, somebody. Hey, man. You better ride You better ride one of them formula babies get cut. He got to, he got to bleed there before he get. You cut a, if a baby bit on that formula. You he could cut his leg. He better hurry and get to the hospital and wrap it up. He bleed to death. You can put too much water in that stuff and you'll die. Drown inside of your own body. It won't drown right there. It'll take a while to drown. Man, look at him. You can take all the water you want and put in pet milk, a carnation milk. Okay. Water him down and won't hit on somebody. All right. That was the deal. Huh? Yeah. Hey, you know, the, 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 the mothers would, would, would make sure the baby had some water. Give him a bottle of water. Yeah. Let him suck. You better have too much water that bottle. Huh? Well, look at him. Hello, somebody. Amen. And see, so we're not as strong as we used to be. We 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 almost clone. Uh, hello, somebody, amen. amen. So we 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 huh, the people that make it up all this stuff ain't raised no children. Uh, -uh. uh they had midwife, they had my mother, your mother out there raised, and not even legislating how we ought to be raised. Yeah. Yeah. And how we ought to raise our children. Mm -hmm. But they ain't raised nobody, they had a nanny there. Okay. They done come up with all these different philosophies about what to do. And oh my goodness, look at the judge. He done spanked this child at all. He's the worst creature in the world. They needed it. On that yellow net, I don't care how old you just die alone, unlawful stuff. I'm a judge. Uh huh? So let me stop when they have me on the talk show. <laughs> Hello, somebody. The only thing bad about that, the Bible said, huh? 
forgive and you shall be forgiven. There ain't, ain't much mercy. See, we in the last day, and you ain't going to see no mercy come up out of us. ain't no love about us. The least little thing somebody do, they're going to jump right on top of it. But the Bible says, teacher, you got to be careful with that unless we consume one another. See, it's the daily on the view, uh, on the view of one of talk shows putting somebody else down, talking about this person didn't do what they're supposed to do, and this person didn't do what they're supposed to do, and tomorrow they're doing the same thing. Yeah. You know, somebody, hell, up there, say, amen. Yeah. Whatever you show, you're going to reap now. Yeah. Be careful with it now. You might not be doing the identical same thing, yeah. but you're doing something. Hello, somebody, amen. You break one law, hello, somebody, you done broke them all. Okay. Hello, somebody. That's why, that's why we are instructed by the Lord to have mercy, mm -hmm. to forgive and we shall be forgiven. Yeah. See, God know how he, how he set this thing up. Mm -hmm. He know how the universe is set up. He know the rules of what's going to get us through. Hello, somebody. Amen. But you and I, we don't know anything of ourselves. We want to be more. We want to be gods. We want to be the, the, the one that declare which way we ought to go. Hello, somebody. But we ourselves are blind. Hello, somebody. And the very best that man has is blind. Hello, somebody. Amen. Praise be to God. If he wasn't blind, he'd have sense enough to follow the Spirit. Hello, somebody. Amen. If he can't see the Spirit and don't know whether the Spirit exists, he ought to know good time where he ought to follow the Spirit. The Spirit, he can't see the Spirit, but the Spirit can see him. What the, huh? I know who's blind out of that situation. If you can't see somebody, they can see you who blind. You don't take no rocket scientist to know that. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, uh, curse, Jesus said, curse, uh, bless and curse not. Amen. Amen. See, see no, you, no, you don't have to curse the, the wicked. If they, if they don't call on the name of the Lord, if they ain't right with God, they already curse. They ain't going to curse somebody already cursed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got like stepping on somebody already in the field now. You killing somebody already died. Uh, he died laying down there dying. And you gonna pick up a murder charge for him. He already died. Hello, somebody. And no matter what you do for him, ain't gonna stop him from dying. Okay. And if you do too much for him, you gonna die with him. <coughs> uh, we in a world now where everybody wanna help everybody. You can't catch the devil out the devil. Oh, I want to help this one. I want this one to get right. You can't catch the devil like the devil. And, and, but that's my brother. That's my sister. The Bible says your enemy going to be those of your own household. Amen. I mean, how many of y'all was born together? In the very same minute, you come out the same spot. You born by yourself. You're going to die by yourself. I don't care how much you love that brother or sister. If you die, huh? All they want is whatever you had that you ain't, you ain't gonna use it no more. Huh? I'll take it from here. Amen. How many of y'all know, know if you're married and you die, you single again? If somebody die, you single again. Hell, somebody. Yeah. You, you ain't right out here. You ain't gonna take that away from here. See, see what you read. What you read in the book of Job about Job. You, you, hello, somebody, huh? Job was sick. And the devil said, you put him in my hand, and, 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 and he'll, curse, he'll curse you to your face. All right. Huh? All right. All right. Hello, somebody, amen. amen. You curse somebody, you don't have to have a curse to your face, but he'll curse you to your face. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Amen. And, 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 and that just, he said, well, preacher, I ain't, I ain't. You going to church, son? Yeah, yeah I'm going. Well, you said, I was sick. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, somebody. So God allowed the devil to touch you and you curse God to his face. Yeah. I ain't cursed God, but you didn't believe in me. Yeah. He said, if that being a sick one, must call them call upon the other. Huh? You, you should have, you should you, you understand what I'm saying? See, if you read the book of Job with understanding, huh? The Bible said he, he was telling him about the son, he was telling about the servants, and telling about this, huh? And he said, well, preacher, Job shows you the hard life. But sometimes you can go around and say, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Hello, somebody. Amen. All the all story, 
Job is this candidate to the extreme. You say, oh, Job, you know what? You might be going through the same thing. Hey, you know somebody, huh? 